Welcome back, guys, to Pandora. So we're heading on over to the Ekron Rookery, and we're going to be picking out our very own Ekron. If you guys don't know what that is, it's essentially those birds slash dragon looking things that you get to fly on. And I'm so freaking excited, man. It's one of the coolest creatures in the entire Avatar universe. And uh, just being able to share a bomb with it and traverse the world. Um, so I'm really freaking excited, guys. It's, um... I've been I've been wanting to do this ever since I started playing this game and we're, we're finally gonna do it I think it's actually right up there but um, I'm really loving this game right now I know I've said that in every single episode you are courting trouble but it's a uh, it's such a fun game if you guys are on the fence um, I highly suggest you guys pick it up and give it a play. A playthrough. Children deserve to know what is behind that noise. Also, I deserve to return to Home Tree without the endless questions. Sometimes I wonder about the bruise of the clouded forest. Ah, the Sarentu. Perfect. Now, I am no coward, but there is a strange sound that wafts from the hills at night. Small concern given everything we are facing, right? Oh, the children disagree, though. Whenever I return to Home Tree, they say, You always know what is happening, Lei Tao. Why can you not tell us what that sound is? Their curiosity is so charming. And tiresome. What do you think it is? Likely someone with too much free time on their hands. The children think it may be the sky people in the hills nearby. But Nil Nyan, he forbids us from looking into it. The lecture he gave us on danger was so stern and lengthy, my yawns could have shaken home tree loose from its soil. Danger doesn't sound like something that would stop you. Nil Nyan lives a tedious life. He would not recognize actual danger if it walked right up to him and ate his dinner. He is an elder, though. When an elder speaks, we obey, for better or worse. So, if I tell the children what I find, I am also telling them I have gone against an elder's wishes. But you, child, are not a Ranahe. Which means you can help me get the children off my back, as much as I love their endless pestering. And what the hell? The sound of night. So what is that about? Locate the strange nocturnal sound, pass time by the fire until nightfall. Okay. So I guess we gotta. Where's the fire? Such intricate embroidery. The most delicate. I actually didn't even know you could pass time right there. And we're on episode four. But I do have to say, I'm really loving the side quests in this game. And we are going to be mixing in a few. You are courting trouble. We're going to be mixing a few uh, here in, the, on this, in this episode. Just like the previous episode. All right, so it's nighttime. What secret treasures the night may hold. It came from the hills and rivers embrace. It's, it is north of the Stepping Stone River. It came from the hills and rivers embrace. It's north of the Stepping Stone River. What the hell is a Stepping Stone River? So I guess it could be like over here. Well, I'll just ping that and then we'll, we'll find out. But every time I boot up this game, guys, I just get my draw, my jaw drops because of how good this game looks. 
I mean, look at that. I needed that break. Thank you. The fuck? No need. Uh oh. Alexis appreciates Eor's beauty. So it's in the hills. And it is north of Stepping Stone River. So could it possibly be up here? It's gotta be up here, right? Hopefully it's up here. We got some sticks. So it looks like the sound is coming from over here, guys. Came back all the way over to this side. But it's a fucking radio. Lake Cow was right. That sound. A quick fix might stop it. They said that there was a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow. Nothing here but danger and risk of death. And then there's that creepy noise I heard last night. Doesn't sound like anything I've ever heard. I'd be more scared if I wasn't so pissed off about losing sleep. The second I see an opening, I'm hightailing it out of here. So it was a freaking radio, man. That's very, uh, very interesting. Right, so let me, I think we have a couple things. Weaver waste wrap. I don't know if I'm going to equip that one. So we're going to go back to that. Um, ow. We're going to go back to that camp. And talk to Leitao. This game is so damn beautiful. Oh shit. Oh, there's a tree right here. I'm gonna go hit up this tree real quick. There we go, baby. Get some max or health topped off a little bit. Itu is the oldest tracker I. The sound was caused by a Sky People device. Looks like they dropped it. No Sky People around. Don't worry. <laughs> well, well. One less Sky People contraption is a good thing. I will let the children know. <laughs> Has Nefika seen what you are wearing? She will hate it. Damn, you met you just laughing at what the hell I'm wearing? It's fucked up, man. I don't like that, guys. We just helped her out and she's making fun of our fucking outfit. Alright, so we're gonna... 
So we gotta head this way. Go up this way. I'm so damn excited for this, guys. Actually, let's see if I can hunt this thing. Oh, never mind. He ran away. Dude. <laughs> we might be dead, guys. Oh, sh shit. Oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to fucking shoot you. I'll, we'll run away. Holy crap, bro. Alright, well those things are tanks. And yeah, we're not fucking with them. We're gonna back off and go this way. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I was not expecting him to be so tanky. I guess that's why they had, like, legendary, uh... Like, resources? I mean, this game, guys, is so fucking gorgeous. I think this is the same team that worked on The Division. So I can't even imagine what the next Division game is going to look like. I think we're supposed to go in here. Ekron Rookery. You can accelerate the passing of time by interacting with campfires and other resting spots. So I guess we, we got to do this at daytime. Let us not stand around waiting to be caught out. Uh, through here? Is, is it safe? Uh, uh, I am not sending you to your doom. Go on. Trust me, my young. That's what you said about the King Lors thing. I use this with Zomi. May you find a bond as strong as ours. Damn, it's so sad, man. Oh, and my out. Our hunters always say, do not look down. I suggest you heed their wisdom. <laughs> Dude, I'm so freaking excited for this, guys, because... This is going to make traveling around the world so much damn fun. There's a tree up there. Or a flower. The mermaid tail is a slightly coiled spring and its base that loosens when touched, propelling pollen from far from its body. Do we just stand on it? Hey.
The gateway literally consists of one large leaf connected to a network of smaller buds. If these ex external buds sense pressure from being touched or shot, they will retract. If all eternal buds retract, the plant's largest leaf will also withdraw. Okay. Simple enough. Did we just... Guys, did that really just happen? There are so many freaking plants and insects and animals and creatures in this game. It's fucking mind boggling. There's something right there. Can I get to that? Yeah, we fell to the bottom, man. How, how did you get up here so fast? Ha! I spent my childhood climbing these mountains. I know all their tricks. You're feeling better then? In body, not yet in spirit. She looks a little skittish. It is up to her if she chooses you. Hey. Did I meet you before? Alright, so is this the one, guys? Do not worry. No self-respecting Ikran would accept the first attempt. Continue your climb. Show her you are worthy. I hope oh. so. So we gotta chase her, man. something over here I don't know how the fuck we get up there, but... I'm gonna try and stay on task. I'm getting sidetracked here. Never guess where I am right now. The Arvada didn't boil you in one of their dive apps, did they? The opposite. I'm climbing the Ikran Rookery to be chosen. At least, 
I hope I get chosen. Uh, seriously? Right now? You're doing that right now? It's like crazy hobby, right? Are you scared? You're not helping. You have to tell Noor. He'll love it. Hang on. Gotta get a footstool. I see something right here, but it's not... Oh, it's over there. One of those Sorrentu things. This is so damn cool, guys. Wow. So I could... We could jump up there. Oh, this is that's close. So we're gonna shoot that. I'm gonna shoot that. But I wanna try to get up to the top. Where's the other one? Oh shit. I hope I get chosen. The bond is pure, untouched by humans. But we Saren do are a little too human. Even now, I use a human instrument to speak with you. 
Well, it takes all weapons to win a war, right? That sounds like something Russia would say. You'll do great. Don't fall, okay? Free up. <laughs> this is so damn cool. bond requires trust on both sides. I'm not sure she is ready to trust yet. Remember, the choice belongs to the Ikran, not to you. It's so crazy, man. Like, how the hell is he getting up here so fucking fast? Oh shit. You're okay. Don't worry. No. What am I doing wrong? She is not sure of you yet. Keep going. Maybe she will reward your efforts. I'm starting to feel like I won't get chosen. She is just teasing. Be strong. Yeah, dude, we need to be stronger. We're like giving up too damn easily. Wow, dude, look at this bridge. We don't want to look down, man. We're gonna get you, man. Even if we have to go to the tippity top, we're gonna get you. I almost didn't jump right there, guys. That would have been uh, extremely bad. My Elon, take on. The bond is a precious thing to be cherished. A life linked forever with your own. Oh, we don't want to take the gun I out. I met Zome at this very spot. She reared up, snapped at me. My stomach churned, my palms slippery with sweat. My heart pounding so hard against my ribs, I thought it would butter bravado was all for show. Her eyes found mine and my heart slowed. My breath came steady. I knew she would choose me. I felt it. Man, he can climb really fast. Holy hell. That one? You're okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait. I didn't mean to scare you. You're 
okay. Don't worry. Oh, it is funny. Wait, I didn't mean to scare you. She is a tough one. <laughs> she thinks this is funny. Approach slowly. Careful. Show her that you can trust. That's what we're trying to do, bro, but it's not. Whoa! Easy there. I didn't mean to scare you. This is funny. I mean, what the fuck is that, dude? It's okay. I won't hurt you. No, don't go. You're okay. Don't worry. Is it bugged out for me? Dude, it was bugged out. What the fuck? Oh my god, man. That's pretty annoying. I'm not gonna lie. She has made herself yours. Temek. Carol. <laughs> Katir. Oh, you can change the freaking. Oh, that's pretty damn cool, guys. Kind of like that one. We'll just leave, we'll just leave them, uh, The mech. Name and cuts here. Screw it. I think I'll call you Katir. A new bond. It is wondrous to fly on thought alone, to touch the mind of another. Your heart's beating as one. must secure the bond with a final act of trust. How do I... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yes! We did it, girl! You did it! Thank you. That's your favorite, isn't it, Kati? Okay, let's think. Feel what to do. Can you... go faster? Wahoo! That's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so damn cool, guys. Girl, you want a treat? You do, don't you? I already fed him, but we'll feed him again. There you go. 
or her. So freaking cool, guys. What the hell? Wow, man. We should get going. Hope the Arana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I hell? bet you've seen those nasty RDA balloons, haven't you, girl? I'm not so sure we can take them out alone. Come on, let's find a tour. All right, so we're going to find a tour covered in purple trees. All right, so let me see. On Storyteller's Stone, is one of the floating mountains covered in purple trees. Covered in purple trees. It's so freaking cool, guys. Like, what a fucking... It doesn't feel, like, <laughs> clunky or finicky. Like, it feels really good to, like, fly this thing. We're actually flying at Ekron. Oh, there it is. I like the color, too. I think I picked the right color. Yeah, this is going to make traversing the world a lot easier, guys. Without a doubt. I wish we could be in first person, though. Like, just switching out of first person, that would be pretty unique. Oh shit. We almost flew We almost flew off the fucking thing. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go, Katir. Your Ikran is fierce and proud. It saw a kindred spirit in you. Your father refused to help. They all did. Doesn't matter what I say, they still see me as my father's daughter, not as the Sahib. You are all he has left. I am more than my mother's shadow. She loved this place. When I was a child, we'd fly here together, her holding me tight on her Ikran. We'd lay down here. And tell each other stories about the stars. I felt so grown up then. She made you feel important. <laughs> it was the stories of the King Lor I loved most. Oh. 
I wonder what stories my people had. We stole them from you. All the Sky People have taken. My mother saw how their hearts are ruled by ignorance and greed. She stood up and was cut down, dying with Sky People metal inside her. We never spoke of the Resistance after that. Your father thinks the price of fighting them has been too great. Will be too great. If we do not fight, we will lose everything. We did not want war. But they have made us warriors. We must bring the fight to them. Hey, Priya, there's something happening in the air here. A signal from these strange devices. Those RDA aerial thingies? Huh. It's disturbing the King Lord and their food cycle in the rainforest. If we help the King Lord, we help the Aranahe. Hey, can you scan one? I'll try to find out what they do. This is so freaking cool, guys. Song. All right, so we got a couple things I want to take a look at. Damn, we got six skill points. Oh, we got some for... Alright, so this is the other skill that was lacked. It's a rider. While riding on your Ekron, use left and X to perform an evasive barrel roll to the according slide. I might do that. Damn, it fishes? What the hell? Oh, that's really cool. I might do this one. Increase our base damage. Locate the RDA, RDA aerial devices in the sky. South of silk, silk, silk Woods. Alright, so what I might do, I might do the side quest. We gotta ask the people at Shaded Grove Camp about Vuan. The camp is in Gosamer Lakes. I think it's like really, I think it's like south of our location. Yeah, it's right here. So I might go do that. Clan contributions. That's interesting. So let's go to this side quest. I just want to kind of fly around a little bit, get used to our Ikron Katir. So sick. That's so damn sick, guys.
So I think we go... To the left. Yeah, yeah. Should be right over here, guys. Actually, we got this thing here. Oh. in one of her moods again. When I asked if I could help, she just snorted and said to find her someone outside of our clan. Many of us have been curious about another strange sound, but Leto is determined to find it by any means. I last saw her scowling at River's Run. Where is Vu'an? Oh, so we got she another... I came here to practice. One of those sounds Why of the night Rudeen? quests. Am I not enough of an audience for you? Well, at least Vu'an knows to keep quiet while I play. One of the Sarintu has come to watch my performance. My renown beyond the King Lord Forest is all but guaranteed. I... I'm sorry, but that's not why I'm here. Uh, oh, you could at least have pretended. No matter. I assume you are looking for Vu'an? How did you know? She has an ear for fine music played expertly. Surely she would have returned from her foraging had she heard me play. She also mentioned she was gathering herbs for Neitu. And we all know how restless my mother's young protege can get. Where should I look? She likes to gather her herbs right across the river from here. Not much for changing her routine, Vu'an. She is especially fond of that grassy bit near the shore. Though the reason why escapes me altogether. My notes do not have clarity on the open water. All right, she likes to gather downhill from the shaded grove. Let's, let's see if we can cook a few things. I got some fish. Food, food pouch is full, so we can't cook anything. We're gonna eat some stuff. Let's see, we could craft this. Is that the same that we have? Oh, we have that one. Never mind. Never mind, guys. We don't have any roots. We need to get root to craft that one. We got a quest that said craft a bow. Nimble longbow. Let's 
So what do we do with it? Deliver... Oh, that's a community basket. It is not for us to judge these things. Uh, so these these are just things that are like, oh, I see, guys, I see. Ay, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. She likes to gather downhill shaded grove camp. Juan was gathering herbs near Wisdom Lake. I'm guessing that's the lake. She must be on the North Shore if she couldn't hear Leroy's music. So she could be like down here. Most likely. So we gotta find her damn. It's so much better, guys, traversing the world with the frickin' Ekron. I think there was a facility right here. It might be like a research facility. A research lab. That's what it looks like. So we're going to answer this call. Hey, you busy? I mean, of course you're busy. But, well, I need your help. I've been in touch with this hotshot pilot named Louis DeLuca. He finally got fed up with the RDA and stole a scorpion packed with medical supplies. Did something happen? That's the thing. I don't know. I've been trying to call him, like, every 14 seconds. What if the RDA got to him? What if... It's okay, Priya. I'll look into it for you. See, I knew you were going to say that. You always come true. I'm sending you his last coordinates. Well, that's pretty cool. Special delivery. I like that we can like, I guess these research labs have been abandoned and we can come in and like <laughs> resurrect them. 
All right, so where the fuck are we going? How did it go? <laughs> Dude, I gotta, I gotta clip that shit, man. <laughs> I'm over here fucking hooting, and my damn Ekron didn't even show up. <laughs> no, dude, what is that? Wow. I mean, this game is so fucking gorgeous. I'm going to keep saying it until I finish the game, guys. Scale bark. Wow, dude, this place is insane. Press B just before hitting the ground reduces fall damage by 50%. 50% guys. That's going to be pretty useful because a lot of times I just want to jump off cliffs. So I got to just remember to press B. And Arana are friends. We often get such rains in the Kingdom I want you forest. to have the best gear possible to face the sky people. Please take this. Why, well, thank you. It's nice. It's awful kind of you. Wahoo! It's got to be over here somewhere. Oh. oh, it's right here. I just came over here, though. What the fuck? But what else? Why drop these? No kuru? And markings. Looks like RDA torture. Snapped in half. Teeth marks. Oh, there's a bag right here. Strap was cut. By what? Doesn't look right. So maybe it's the bow? A fight happened here. Must be Vu'an's bow. Snapped. 
Maybe she ran. I don't see any freaking, uh... But what else? Vu'an must have been taken by surprise. Viper wolves attacked. Broke Vu'an's bow. So she ran. Could follow the scent of herbs. Craft some uh, arrows real quick. Guys, I'm gonna follow this. And this, I like, I like how this biome is a little different than the ones we've been in recently. Like the grass is like different, or maybe I'm just seeing shit, guys. something right here that's oh, way over there we're actually heading that way oh wow stay back I am oh you must be Vu'an Neitu sent me she was worried about you Neitu is always worried about me except she was right this time I am trapped here trapped by what viper wolves with strange markings and no kuru, an unnatural kind. Unnatural? Not of Ewa. They are faster than other viper wolves, meaner. It is not hunger or fear that drives them, but I saw sorrow in their eyes. They caught me off guard, snapped right through my bow. They are looking for me. I can hear their prowling. Oh, the horrors they must have endured to turn so vicious. Did the sky people do this to them? They have no peace, no calm, only the hunt. If they have your scent, maybe I can catch them unaware. Perhaps, but give them the mercy of a swift death. Only then will they finally be reunited with Ewa. The poor beasts deserve that kindness at least. So she's being hunted. All right, clear the area of these viper wolves. Oh, shit. Watch your back. They are without mercy. Hell, guys. No kudu. Should take a closer look. Focus. So we're gonna defeat the pack leaders. Watch your back. No they are without kudu. mercy. Needs a closer look.
Ah, oh, there's so many of them, guys. Holy shit! You are back. Another without a kuru. Need a closer look. You're safe now. The threat is gone. Oh! I thought I was going to die alone in this place. I can hold myself in a fight, but there is a reason I hunt berries instead of beasts. I'm sure you could have handled them all if you still had your bow. Oh. That is sweet of you. I will make sure Neto sets something special aside for you. A token of my gratitude. Well, alrighty, guys. So we're gonna meet her at the home tree. At the Weaver's Den. Oh. Hmm. Not coming. Why, we can't, why can't we call them in this area? All right, guys. Well, we are going to end it there. But just look at this sunset, man. We got the fog in the distance. We're riding a freaking Ikra, man, on Pandora. This is the coolest thing ever. But um, I'm having a blast with this game. I don't know why there's some hate around this game. It's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a heck of a lot of fun. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the side quest, the main story and whatnot. And I can't wait to go back into this. We're probably going to pick up with a lot of the side quests in the, in the next episode. And then we'll, we'll continue with the main story. Uh, just progressing our character and our equipment and whatnot. I feel like we need to take a look at our equipment and uh, see if we can improve some things. But um, if you guys are enjoying the content, enjoying this walk walkthrough, make sure you guys are smashing that like button. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that being said, guys, I want you to take care, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next one.